Hello there. This is Ashley Kell at uh, Friends of the Trees Botanicals Farm in Chimicum, Washington. And I'm using my favorite tool here. This is the broad fork. It's uh, main use is for loosening things as I loosening the soil. And I'm loosening this up so we can get these weeds out of here. It's our weediest patch on our farm. And um, this is the pollinator Nisnol hedgerow that we planted one year ago. And yeah, it's a lovely day, spring day here, April 25th, 2023. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of our new offerings um, at Friends of the Trees Botanicals, and that's twig ends. This is a, a cherry tree here, and if we cut these twig ends off here, this is very good, valuable medicine. And traditionally, people use a lot of bark in a trade, but uh, the, the twig ends have a lot of medicine in them. It's the ramial wood is one name for it has just so much energy that's where all the energy is getting sent out of the roots up to these tips that are growing so very potent uh part of the plant and um in this hedgerow we planted something like 10 different types of trees and shrubs to help keep the spread of insects and disease between the different orchard blocks at Finn River Farm and Cidery here. Um, so here we have some red osier dogwood. And as you can see, there's all these shoots coming up from all around here. And so sometimes we can come through and be pruning out some of these twigs that we don't need as much um, for the plant to be healthy and strong. We'll just take out a few here and there and thin it out, healthy for the plant. And then we also have all this wonderful medicine, um, red osier dogwood. And uh, right here, the hedgerow, this changes to, uh, this is the third year, whereas the earlier part is the second year. So these ones are just a little bit bigger. We can get a little bit more of these twig ends off of it. Now what we found is drying these twig ends and then running them through our mill makes a really nice product. Um, really easy to use in teas or tinctures. And uh, you can see the leaves are just starting to grow on them. Just the first sprouts and the spring is the ideal time to get the bark when the the sap is running and and um, so this is I wouldn't we don't think we'd harvest too much later than this we don't want a lot of leaf in there but a little leaf is is just fine um, and let's walk down a little ways further we can check out a couple different medicinal twigs that we can we're harvesting now here is a cramp bark which has been a really good seller for us in the past few years. And um, it's really good, it's doing well. And we're really excited for those. We aren't gonna be harvesting from those this year. And then a little bit farther along in the hedgerow, we have cascara. And uh, so there's another medicinal bark and uh, twigs. So that we're offering those now on our website. And uh, yeah, so we're really excited to be offering these twig ends, which is not commonly found um, in the trade. And we're hoping that it will encourage others to do the same. Go out, harvest some twig ends, make some tea, make some medicine, um, and, and happy spring to you all out there. I'm sure there are. And we're, and so we're just sort of like, but not that many people know it, so to speak, in yeah, our culture. In, our in Africa, it's really common. Right. If you right. go to any market, yeah. there'll be people selling twigs. Right, yeah. <laughs> they have what they're what they call chewing sticks. 
It's right. kind of like a Denifris thing. All right. That's and it's a really big, and, and, and it's a really big deal. A lot of people are doing, nice are yeah. doing a so, chewing stick twigs. Talk about, yeah. In Africa. I like 